God dang it, man. So we got rejected once. And right now, as soon as we're walking away, it's like those movies. So literally, we don't know if it's good or if it's bad, but... Ever since. Okay, so as you guys can see, like Bossman is using four phones. Um, one is like couple, two for maps, one for radio, uh, one for uh, like just to make sure like the details, like Google and everything, make sure all the looks and just to make everything right, and one for chatting, I guess, uh, communicating. And, pretty cool. Uh, I don't know how people do it with phone. Can't even handle one phone. They're out here handling four phones all day. Okay guys, so we're currently trying our second attempt to get a Chinese visa. Hopefully it goes there. things happened today which is pretty crazy uh, my dad was like yeah uh, ask the ask the driver the taxi driver and over here we call them shifu which is like master right uh it's like hey shifu uh is it is it uh is it true that hong kong just ended the mass mandate today and the uh, guy was like yeah and my dad was just triple confirming it and yeah it's true as soon as we got here the mass mandate is over but still out of respect and uh, safety for us because I kind of feel in some type of way uh, we're gonna keep wearing it for a minute uh, but probably at a certain point gonna stop and by the way China they finished their mask mandate like a while ago so right now we're just trying to get into our uh, visa appointment inside 11 but we're trying to see if we can get lucky and get in early Yesterday was a failure. Today, hopefully, we can get it. Okay, guys, so I wanted to talk about the sponsor of this video. There is none, but I want to just give a special shout out to uh, All Nation Division. Check it out. We're repping, repping Kush Rai over here. What's up, Kush Rai? I was gonna say I'm trying to work, but I can't think of any. <laughs> but yeah, so y'all go to the website, All Nation Division. Um, check them out on Instagram, follow them. Um, use code YANG16. There's a code from back in 2016. You get 10% off uh, your total card, I think. So yeah, go check it out. I think worldwide shipping. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Uh, but yeah, y'all go check them out. Shout out to All Nation Division. All the way from Hong Kong. How was your taxi experience? The car felt like what those beat up cars in Chuck where I felt unstable. <laughs> Did it not feel the same way for me? No, I feel good up front. I was like, uh, I was kind of iffy. Iffy about it, yes. Right word. Uh -huh. Shoes. His tongue action. Uh. Alright guys, so I'm no I noticing like I'm missing a couple footages because it was so intense that day. Like we were so like from the time we were called up. Okay, let's just start from the beginning. So we got there at 8 30. Oh like 8 15. We got there at 8 15. Door opens at 9. We were like number probably like number seven in line, so seven or eight in line. Uh and so by the time we were called up, there's a guy at the front. And he's gonna check your documents or something like that like he'll see like okay your appointment is today we'll let you in so he he let us in he gave us a number and it was set, it said number 77 but we're actually number eight um, i guess it just continues off the day before that right um and so what happens after that is they just let you go you have a waiting room which is what you just saw me and stracy just chilling and looking out the window but as soon as they called us up me and my dad just like we went straight to the window um, and immediately the, the lady was saying like we won't be able to get our documents in 
I could, but I, we couldn't do it for Stracy or Leah because at the time of this, of my appointment, they were not in my appointment and I filled out my application wrong. Like I said yesterday, if you watched the last episode, I filled out the application wrong in this specific part. And so I had to redo the application. Um, but even if, even though I re redid it, they weren't in my appointment time and they were super strict about it. Initially, like they were like, initially they were just like, no, we can't process uh, Stracy and Liam's uh, application today because they're set for a different date they're not set for today it's just your son she was talking to my dad at the time because I think uh, yeah, yeah she was speaking Chinese she was more comfortable speaking Chinese so she was talking to my dad at the time um, so and my dad was like just begging her like me and my dad were, were at the window we're just begging her. I was like please please is there any anything you could do because this is my son that's his wife that's uh, my grandson they came to Ch they, they want to go to China just to see me and at this time I'm not sure about right now today's date uh, today the day you're watching this video but at this time that we're going no tourists allowed it, you're only allowed to go if you're visiting relative or if you're on a business trip those are the only two exceptions that will allow foreigners to go into China at this point right so we go so we go we keep we keep begging her for like 10 15 minutes and then she was like the only other option for you guys to like like the thing is i could process M mr yang bill over here his his application but i really my hands are tied i can't do anything for uh stracy and liam so we were just like damn and like my dad was just coming up with plans as we're going it's like man the only other option is to send you guys to guam so that we don't spend money send you guys all the way back to Houston and have you guys all come all the way back on Stracy and Liam's actual appointment date which was I think like the 14th or something um so yeah so my dad was just like the only thing we could do right now is send them back to Guam and wait until and the lady was looking at us like what like why why could why you guys can't just stay in uh, Hong Kong it's like hotel money food money all of this kind of money that we got to spend for us to just stay in Hong Kong uh, it'll be more it'll be cheaper for us to buy a tickets round trip tickets to go to Guam stay with family and then come back up to Hong Kong reapply on the day that Stracy and Liam's appointment is at and so we walked away defeated and my dad just we were just like man this is it this is Guam is this what we're doing we're gonna go to Guam for two weeks uh, process my like throw my application in process it uh, and then get it get my passport back and then the three of us go to guam is this what's happening right now is that what we're gonna do we're, we just felt so defeated and this is the next footage god dang it man so we got rejected once and right now as soon as we're walking away it's like those movies when you're walking away and uh like like in the movies you're like oh damn and then you give them like one more pity look and then they're just, and then she's just at the thing. She's just like, Yang Xian, Mr. Yang, and me and my dad just, we just turn around. So it's still not a promise that we might get it, but it's giving us a little bit of hope. We just need a little bit of wiggle room. Her like her manager came out and like was standing behind her and it's like, da -da 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 -da. couldn't really see what they're saying with the mask. But we have a little bit of hope. Like literally, it's like, like those movies, bro. Go, 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 go stand over there. So after this movie like scenario is happening, so we go up, we get rejected, they give us a second chance, like the manager felt bad for us, I guess, was standing behind the girl and was like just nodding the head. Like, and the girl's like, okay, well, we'll, we're willing, we're willing to help you guys. And for that, we're forever thankful. However, we still had a couple challenges. Like we still had to provide certain documents and we had to change uh, our application because we filled it wrong in certain areas. Things like there was like there's so meticulous about it. Is, is that a word? All right. I want to smell. I want to sound smart. But yeah. So like things like comma over here. You gotta add a comma. Um, you gotta you checked off the wrong box. Your middle name is supposed to be with your first name because of how your passport is formatted. Or like what? Okay. And then even though they had like a box for middle name, your middle name was supposed to go with your first name because of all passwords were made. Anyways, um, so, and then you have to provide documents. So at this time, like I said, right, it's only for relatives and business purposes. 
uh, visiting relatives like no tourists allowed at this time that we went to apply for it you had to supply them with um, your re like the inviting person's like documents and how you're related to them so how, how you do that is you have to have birth certificates of like my birth certificate uh, me and Stracy's marriage certificate to show that her and my dad are father and daughter-in-law and then Liam's uh, birth certificate so you have to have all these documents scan copy version is fine and they have copying machines there so don't worry if you're ever in this situation but it is kind of expensive oh, and then so those were the situations and at this point so remember 8 30 8 15 we get there 9 o'clock we get in 9 30 we get to the window because the person in front of us took like 20 to 30 minutes that's like the average time <laughs> And so we have until 12 o'clock if we want our application to like start processing that day. That day. So if we're after 12 o'clock, that's considered the next, it'll, it'll start the process tomorrow. So the next day. So we had a time limit, like we had a two and a half hour, two hours because us begging and them giving us a second chance, that took 30 minutes. So we had two hours to get all our information right. And at this time, we're on a time crunch. And I'm trying to get in contact with my mom because I've always had a problem issue with uh, getting a copy of my birth certificate. Um, and like my mom, I, I tried to call my mom multiple times uh, on Facebook and such, no answer. And finally, my sister came through, uh, Rini, shout out to Rini. You saved our lives that day. Um, but I called her, I was like, hey, you have any way of contacting my mom and she's like uh she's actually on the flight right now like 30 minutes from she she still has like 30 minutes before she lands and i'm like dang we're on a time crunch right now but that's okay we still have some documents to we still got to fix our documents so maybe we still have time and then she lands and i call her and she connects and I'm, I'm like mom is there any way do you have my birth certificate and she's like yes i do and me and my dad were like oh because i remember like Last time I needed it, she didn't have it, or like it was a kind of like a, uh, she was ha still having a hard time getting a hold of it. Um, but this time she had it, kind of. It was in Koshrai and she's in Bombay, Bombay at this point. So she had to call people in Koshrai to go to the office, run to the office, and get a copy, scan it, send it over to me, and then we got it. But we're filling out this, we're filling out all the application. We get to the window at like 11:50 something. Like we were like right there we almost because so we, we finished all gathering all of our documents at like 11 30 but we got to the window and like there was she was helping somebody else um she was helping something and they finished at like 11 50 something not just 50 11 50 something so we got to the window right in there and we asked her like if we get her there if we start doing this right now and we get everything right would it be considered today and she's like yeah and we're just like oh like we're just hoping we get everything right on this application and well this is what happened next okay so right now they ex they it's, it's awkward to say but they took our application but we don't know we don't even know what the chances of us getting it or anything but they took it right now the biggest question mark is her um her passport but other than that, yeah, that is uh, pretty much the situation right now. So literally, we don't know if it's good or if it's bad. But I mean, it's just Hong Kong. Um, uh, yeah. If we were doing it in Micronesia, easy. Okay. Well, we don't know what's going on right now, so we gotta go. Oh, we still gotta go pay for the application fee and everything. I think we're all about to eat and black out. All right, well, we'll figure out the situation and see you guys in the next couple seconds. Oh, by the way, we've been here for like four hours by now. Almost five hours. favorite part of Hong Kong so far. Really? Yes! 